Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial today, and this is what people have asked me in the past, and it's about how you and um, what you should do to overlay your menu of a sort of a game environment or something to make it look more interesting. So I'm using the ArcVis Pro Volume 7, which I featured in a recent video, and this really doesn't have any smoke or mirrors or anything particularly technical. You just really overlay your canvas over the top of a piece of environment, gameplay, whatever it may be, and then disabling any character movement, having a camera that's stationary, and setting that to the angle that you exactly want. So let's imagine you start from the very beginning in this case and you have it where you've got your environment that's set out, you've got your player, but you know, what do you really need to do from here? So say we want to get started, we want to, we'll get rid of our player, so any, now we, we can't really move around, we can't accidentally do something that we don't want. We might want to position the camera in a particular place. So I liked it in front of this, these sort of foliage and shrubbery with some of the raindrops and things because I like the atmospheric look. So if I like the position there, as an example, we can go game object and add camera. And then if we add the camera, and I've just created it before, you can see it down here. You might have positioned it and it'll just position anyway. If you left click and select the camera and go game object and say align with view, you actually will align the camera that you've got selected with the scene view. So you'll create the view down here in the game view. So that's perfect. We've positioned it absolutely fine. Now you can go to the asset store and I'm just using my free menu that I gave away but you can use your own whatever you've created because it'll just be on a canvas. So you could import this to your scene and in my case I just added the UI controller and the load preferences. So your menu might look something like this because it's got a background image so it might overtake the overall look of the scene. But I've just changed the look of it, I changed the logos, I changed the shape and I changed the actual font but it doesn't matter. It's all the same because you can adjust this as you need to. Now in the main menu canvas you can just untick and get rid of the background. Now we can actually see our environment and we got it there and everything realistically other than connecting the actual objects up in the inspector for the specific scripts, you're ready to go. So you can press play and you can see that we've got the dynamic environment with the menu over the top with the interactable stuff that we would normally have. And you can decide to customize as you want, but you see we can't look around or do anything in particular that will mess anything up. And one thing to remember, one thing to remember, if this is your main environment and you've got it for your menu, what you can do is you could delete all the assets behind here, up here, and only keep the stuff that you're going to directly look at which would affect the look of the overall scene. So you can keep it as light as humanly possible without any overhead to, you know, more polygons to render or textures for the sake of just the environment itself. Hopefully this helped you out and showed you how to make a basic overlay for your menu and just have some gameplay in the background. So you can choose to put whatever you want there. Be sure to check out my free assets on the store and any of the other great assets on there. Be sure to look at my Patreon. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.